Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. We're going to do a quick unboxing on an item I picked up. Now this was one of my random internet search finds. So I was just searching around on the internet, looking at different holsters and flashlight holders and things, and I came across this brand. So I went in ahead and, and uh, purchased something from them. We'll take a look at it. So this is by a brand called Hold My Gear. I had never heard of them until about a week ago. Um, basically, this is a holster that's supposed to work for the Warrior Mini 2, the Baton Pro, um, a couple different lights, and we'll kind of go over that here in a second. So it looks like just the holster in the package, and we will take a peek at it. So this one was available in two different styles. So this one you could get in just plain black, and it would cost $25. Now this is the black polycarbonate. Um, which I think is supposed to be the more premium one. Uh, this one comes with a 12-month warranty. I don't think the other one comes with a warranty. So I'll kind of just do a quick overview of it. So, yeah, it just feels like, you know, just a plastic, um, kind of a plastic holster. But it feels pretty, pretty rugged. You know, I think it's just, I don't know, 3D printed or, I, I'm not sure how it's made, but, um, it's got a little belt clip on it, which is was I'm kind of interested in was the belt clip. You know, you clip it on some molly, you can clip it on your belt. You know, a couple different things you can clip it on. So yeah, this one here is supposed to work with the Warrior Mini, the Warrior Mini 2, the Olight SR2 Baton 2, and the Olight Baton Pro. So I have a couple of those lights, so we're going to kind of test it out and see how it works. So the first one is the Baton 3 Pro. And it does work, so slips in there pretty well. Uh, fairly low profile. It's got that cutout in the front for the pocket clip. Fits down there in the bottom. So seems to hold it pretty well. Um, retention's pretty good. Pretty good retention. I don't know if it'll loosen up a little bit, but um, it's not definitely not going to fall out. I mean, it's it's in there pretty well. I mean, it looks like you can kind of pop it from the bottom if you want to. Um, you know, you kind of pop it up by the clip. So yeah, fits in there pretty well. And then we'll pull in the Warrior Mini 2. Now this one has that little ring on the bottom, which I think might end up being kind of a problem. We'll just kind of line it up with the pocket clip for now. Um, yeah, it's definitely a lot, a lot tighter in there. Maybe we'll take that clip off and see if it makes a difference here. This one's always kind of a pain to get off. There we go. Alright, we'll see if it makes a difference without that. Oh yeah, much easier without that. So, looks like that ring doesn't work out too well. But yeah, this one, you know, sticks up quite a bit. But, I think I kind of like that because I can, now I can, uh, you know, just grab it on the top, pull it right out stick it in so I don't know I might give this a shot on the belt for a day or two so I like it but yeah it fits really well all the way down to the bottom doesn't look like if you push on it no it doesn't look like it actually triggers the button at all so that's good I was kind of worried about that but it does not trigger the button at the bottom I mean I guess you could still kind of press it maybe yeah, pretty darn hard I can't really get my fat fingers there very well to push it so I guess if you pushed it from the bottom, it would work. But um, yeah, fits in pretty good. I almost feel like this one's easier to get in and out than, than the Baton uh, 3 Pro. But yeah, kind of a cool holster. I just wanted to make a quick video just in case anybody hadn't seen this one before. Um, I feel like they, fit, they both fit pretty good. So... I feel like on day-to-day, -day, though, the the Warrior Mini 2 probably would be easier to get in and out of if you're wearing it on your belt. Just because you do have that excess on the top, you can just grab it and pull it right out. Uh, the Baton 3 slips in there pretty deep, which is nice because it's low profile. But I guess if you're wearing it on your belt, you could probably just push it from the bottom real quick, get it popped out, and just grab it. So, yeah, I just kind of want to put that out there just in case you guys hadn't seen this before. Like I said, it's from Hold My Gear. I'll throw a link in the description. 
they have holsters for a whole bunch of different kinds of lights so this is the only one i picked up but yeah they got a whole bunch of different ones on there so check them out um you know see if there's something on there that works for you but that's all i got for you guys today thanks a lot for watching have a good day